What is up everyone, welcome back to The Evil Within. This is part two, chapter three. We initially live streamed the first episode, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record this one and upload it after the fact, but obviously it's it's still a live com and everything. My focus might be a little bit off. I, I just got tickets to Coldplay and I'm freaking out. <laughs> if anyone else likes Coldplay, drop a comment, let me know below. So I managed to find this uh, kind of upgrade mirror. So I'm just going to have a look and see what's available for us. I'm not sure, you know, what we have upgrade wise, but we'll take a look and see. Take a look and see. It's been a while since your last visit. Now the last time I was in this area, I wasn't patient enough and I didn't do enough scavenging. Oh, we do have some serious upgrades. Um, I'm thinking health. Let's take a look and see. I need to scavenge more because the agony crossbow is in this area. So we're going to take a look and see. Uh, I can upgrade my melee damage or my life gauge. I think I need to do that because it's just so low. And uh, we'll take a look here now. We can get fire rate, reload time. Stock grenades, increase the number of grenades that can be carried. Handgun ammo, syringes, critical, I can't get anything. Damage multiplier, I can't get anything. I don't know, is it worth anything? Will we just keep keep what we have? Oh nice, so if we upgrade our life cage here, it fully puts the health back, which is going to help us a lot. And if the video looks grainy or anything like that up on YouTube, this game is grainy. It, it's built to be dark and weird. So even if you have the resolution up high, it is an old game. I'm not sure. What year did this come out? Something like that. But anyways, let's get back into it. If you hear this music, and you're playing this game, I know this game is old, but it's on sale right now. And I always meant to pick it up and play and I just never did. For some reason. Sometimes I do that with games, I'm just very, very late to the party. Anywho, let's try go outside. Okay, perfect. Because there is an area that we need to go to for the Agony Crossbow, which is this room in here, I believe, with the double doors. There. I want to go there. Now, the sadist boss is in here. That's the name of that boss. Uh, it could be in here. I'll double check the agony crossbow. It's something that we definitely need to get. And I believe in part one, I may have missed a few things as well. I'll turn up my game sound just a little bit. But these rooms, some of them have like proximity bombs on the wall. See, now there's stuff. I'm gonna burn you. Get rid of you. There was a small little room off the edge here the last time that killed me. I think it was this room. I stood up in this room and it just, it, I just died. I'm not sure if that bomb spawns back. Can I even open one of those? No, that's the barn where the sadist is. So we don't want to go in there. No, there's a sniper up here. So what I want to do is I want to go over to the edge over here. Not really alarm any enemies. And then try and get in there. Because that, that looks like a... <laughs> okay, perfect. So we've got, we've got these little um, upgrade things. But I don't know where it is. Disarming traps, sneak kills, disarming bombs. How do I? Oh, maybe it's for bolts and not grenades. I was thinking the parts might be for grenades. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm the shit out of me! <laughs> 
Oh god. Can I even disarm that now? Or do I have to do it from the side? There was me thinking I was all fucking smart, man. That's hilarious. Where is it gone? Where did it go? Did it despawn? That was hilarious, man. Okay, I can hear enemies, but I think that's the guy up at the top. Well, wherever he is, he sounds very, very close. I can definitely go up to the top of this. So let's do that. I wonder will the sniper see me? I, my game sound up really loud now. When I turned that up and the bear trap went off, I was just like, Bruh! <laughs> Well, that's funny. That's actually really funny. Oh, what's this? A flash bolt. A warhead for the agony crossbow. I love the name of the agony. Which blind... Okay, so it's just flashbangs, really. Oh, nice. We got some stuff up here. So you, you do get rewarded for scavenging and exploring and all that type of stuff. Now, this might be a good kind of viewpoint for us. Okay, why is it just letting me do this? So this guy is out here. And he has a pickaxe. Okay. Is there a viewpoint off this side then, too? No. Okay. <coughs> I believe the building that he's in, though, has the agony crossbow at the bottom. But you definitely want to sneak around because you don't want you know, multiple enemies in this game chasing you at once because you just waste all your ammo and everything trying to take them out. Okay, I think I made it. He did shoot at me though. Oh, he heard that. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Lovely. Definitely get rid of him. There's the crossbow. Perfect. Aim and shoot this collapsible crossbow as a bowstring. Perfect. And we got the explosive bolt. Well, detonate. Okay, it can be placed on things like floors and walls, and even enemies. Interesting. So, what can, where can we assign that to? Creating bolts. Create that when the agony is selected. Okay. Parts needed. Make agony bolt. Change bolt. That's explosive. Yeah, we definitely want one of those. Hey, they'd be expensive, so we can't really tear through those. <laughs> Reload this to full. Um, something shiny here, no? So that thing that I pulled on the wall, what does it do? I thought it was like a trap door or something. Maybe. There's definitely dudes up here, so I don't want to stick my head out fully because he's definitely like behind there somewhere. I can see his shadow. But I can't see him. That sounds like a clicker or something. Hmm. 
Mm, what's down here? Oh, juice. Upgrade juice. Oh, what's this? What was that? What was that? It opened so quickly. You're welcome to give it a try. Please, time is of the essence. It is imperative what? we find Leslie before anything should happen to him. Oh fuck! I was like, where's where's the light coming from? Oh, I turned that on. <laughs> uh. Experiment number four. Subject number I'm so four jumpy right now. I'm so giddy anyway because the gold play tickets. Diminished. But synchronization achieved. Subjects should begin experiencing a shared consciousness. Previous trials indicated rapid deterioration of consciousness. Their minds became an exquisite mass, an amalgam of mental carrion. I'll have to connect myself if I want to experience their terror before it diminishes. That was hilarious, man. I didn't even realize. I think, it, I think it was her that fell off the thing. Oh, hello, mate. What the fuck? I didn't even see you at all. Okay. Oh, it's a hiding spot. Oh, it was you that opened the door. Well, out of... What? Hey, excuse me? Is he still alive? Can he open that door? Man, I'm so bad at aiming in this game. Wait, there's another one. Man, I can hear footsteps like below me coming up or something. Oh yeah, look, look. Oh no. I thought that was the of someone's body. I kinda coming around the door there. As a whole, I think I think this building is cleared. Oh, shotgun ammo. I believe I believe the guy out there has the shotgun ammo. Oh perfect, that's exactly what I need. Oh! Is this a shotgun then? Oh man. The shotgun. Let's go. So, when games like this start giving you a shotgun and a crossbow bolt, etc., etc., you know that it's panic stations. <laughs> because when the game starts giving you stuff, it's never ever a good sign. Oh, nice. So, let's just take a look at what we have right now. So, Okay, so this thing is turned into a pentagon. So we've got a med kit there, which we can use if we get really, really stuck. We have that in one. We have that many bullets. Okay. So what I'm going to try and do is clear out this whole area and then take out the sadist boss. I believe there's a trophy for that, and I want to do that. Um. Oh. Is that a crossbow bolt? Harpoon bolt. Oh. That wasn't there on the way up, was it? Okay. I'll take that. Um, anything in here? Oh, that's a hiding spot. So I presume our next port of call is to try and take out the sniper guy. 
There's a lot of enemies over there though that way. I mean they ganged up on me the last time. You cannot go guns blazing. And there's no point in me trying to shoot him from there. So I don't want to go into the barn either because the sadist is in there. But what I might try to do is go over him. in there. The audio is weird as well, he sounds like super super close. He's right behind that wall though. I don't think he comes out unless I go after him and try to hit him. So far this is going a bit more smoother than our initial run. Matches. Yeah, let's do it around here. Nice, we got more health. Nice. So we can reload this up to six shots. And I'm gonna have to shoot that proximity bomb to go up that ladder. Which is a bit shitty. Because if I just stand up near it, it's going to blow me up. Okay, let's not shit our pants over the bear trap this time. Lovely. There's a ladder there. I didn't see that. On the way. Oh. Ah, yes, because you have to kick it down. Okay, so that's like a shortcut now. Um, sorry for the noobness. Harpoon bolt. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Derp. That's fine. Okay. So right now I'm just sneaking because I don't really know what's around here. This is kind of uncharted territory for me. Smashing the boxes sometimes as well can be very beneficial, there can be stuff in them. And more matches. I wonder can I throw the bottle off the proximity switch and make it blow up? Because I don't know what's up here. Probably nothing crazy, but it could be stuff on beams. For the most part, I think I have the majority of this area cleared out. Now there's a bottle over here, wasn't there? Can I just like do this, maybe? Yeah. Now that might attract enemies my way, I don't know. What is up here? Oh, more bits. We're full on that front. There's a statue. Oh, what's that for? A key? I gotta Google what that's for. And a thousand juice. Um. I'm gonna Google what that is. So, the evil within. Wiki. I wonder is there like a wiki kind of like for the Souls games? Oh, there is. Okay. Trending articles. Beautiful main page. Maybe not. The evil within chapter three. The evil within chapter three key. Let's 
So, like, what's the key for, though? Is it for something? Ah, oh, special keys are found throughout the evil within all... Okay, smashing small statues found tucked away. Okay, keys can be spent to open morgue lockers. Each of these contain extra items for you to use on your journey. Unlike the other collectibles, keys are not tracked, making them easier to miss. Okay. So there was actually two keys. Top of the barn. A second key can be found on top of the stone wall to the right of the entrance of the barn. After you shoot the statue, the key will be on the ground. Oh wow, so there's actually multiple keys here. So it seems that we can spend these keys on morgue lockers. What the fuck are these? The morgue lockers become available after chapter two. They are accessed from the safe hospital zone. After the nurse shows you them, each one will contain an item. Oh, frost bolts, shock bolts, shotgun bullets. Okay, they're available after chapter two. Hmm. The evil within. It's two seconds, guys. More clocker. Where is that? Ah, okay, so they're behind they're behind the front desk. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll leave that screenshot open of where those keys are. Cause I want to collect the ball because obviously it's gonna make our journey a little bit more smoother throughout this game. So we can't pick those up. But that statue just looked obvious, like it was there was light shining on it from no light source, if that makes sense. So what I want to do is try to take out that sniper guy now. Get rid of him. I want to try to save my crossbow bolts though for the sadist. We might be able to push up from the left and get him. Don't want to go in there too yet, I just don't want to potentially aggro him. Will he see me? Yeah. Shit. Okay, let's push up. Okay, we got rid of him. Don't get too crowded here. It sounds like there's a lot of them. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha ha! Yes! I wanted that to happen. Haha, <laughs> oops. No, what happens now? Oh shit. I didn't want that to happen. Run away. Oh, he's sprinting. Okay, perfect. He's an axe as well as some upgrade juice. <sighs> Man, this game's intense though. Let's go back over the bodies and see. Is there anything for us? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other syringe as well. Just to heal us up close to full again. Oh man, that was that was scary. That was some scary shit. Okay. Well, I don't want to open that yet. I'm not done here yet. That's only a hiding spot. Anything in here? Nope. So I'm just going to... Whoa. He is watching. We can't leave. 
Oh, nice. No thanks. Okay, maybe I can craft something else now. Fire, okay. Excuse me. Um, what do those red levers do? I don't want to pull them in case it like. Okay, that's what they do. Surely shit falls out of that. I don't hear any enemies other than the ones with the sadist. But uh, I'm gonna play it safe. What's here? Okay, we got our matches back. Was this the original door then where the sniper was? Yes, and I'm going to burn his body. Because you were annoying, sir. So if I need more bolts, those ones are there. I'll collect those on the way back. There's nothing there for us. And... Oh, yeah, you can get fucked too. I don't know how you died, I don't remember killing you. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like going towards the sadist is now... Our best option. Okay, so that's a bit of an arc on it when we shoot it. How do I assign something to? options. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's much better now. Okay, well he's in here. Is there anyone else in here with him? bursts out of there. Now there's also a proximity over this way. Out you come. Out you come. Did they run? Does he run forever? Okay, perfect. Well, that's giving us a checkpoint. And where the fuck have they. Where have you come out of? Oh, more of them have come. From where? What's happening? Well, I'm just going to try. Had they respawned because I didn't burn them? Yeah, that's exactly what's happened, I would say. I'm going to try and just take them out stealthily. Need to be careful, though, because the bear traps might have spawned. Hey, do yourself a favor there, Sham, and just don't turn around. Yeah, don't. Will that take his attention? No. I wonder, has it brought these into the area because they've taken too long? Oh shit, I think he just broke out. Would I be right in saying that? Nope. 
He's still there. Okay, that's giving me a checkpoint as well. Definitely someone over here though. Yeah, there is. There's gotta be something good out here. Why is it not giving me an option to burn them? Do I have no matches left? That's why. Okay, but that looks like a new area of the map. Okay, let's try to take him out. I wonder, could I lead him out this way? Do I have to open that? Myself? If I'm opening that door, what I want to do is shoot him from up here, from a vantage point. I don't want to get rid of Bridie over here now. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, she cray cray. She just got up. Yeah. Get out of here, Brady. So, what I was meant was. I want to try shooting from here. Can I do that? Without it getting stuck on something? Maybe I can shoot down? No, I can't. Well, I need to go collect the other bolts from the other area. Gotta take this guy down fast. My stamina. Okay, the other two bolts are up this way. Oh, I got him! Oh, defeat to say this within the village. Man, that was nuts. Oh, whoa, 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 what's that? Oh, no. I better hold on to this.
I just had myself muted for a wait. Why do I keep muting myself? You should find this useful. Okay, so we got more blockers now. This way, please. Hmm, upgrades. Oh, she's bringing us into the back office, guys. She's gonna ring our mommy and tell her we we're bad at school. Where are you <laughs> taking me? You don't talk much. I hear like bugs or something. Oh, so there's keys for all of these. Oh, and all these. The fuck? You, you are. You Detective are. Castellanos? Do you have a key like this? Yeah. That key will allow you to open this door. Thank you for the tutorial, you zombie. Oh, nice. Oh, great. Well, I'll just go fuck myself. Yours. Please, come back whenever you need to. Oh. So we can just pick which ones are the best. Are they randomized then? 
So I wonder, are they random? So people are saying, you know, every third one is, is gel. We'll just open random ones and just see what we get. Ammo. Gel. And gel. Wow, we got so much upgrade material now. What's in here? Probably nothing for now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some upgrades and then end this part because we have been recording for 40 minutes. What the hell? Time flies when you're having fun. We definitely want maximum sprint time. Uh, life gauge, yes please. Weapons. Okay. Charge time, range, reload time. Uh, Definitely want to be able to carry more agony bolts. Um, grenades. Eh. Melee damage for sure. Oh yeah, let's do that. Anything else I can buy? Harpoon bolt inflicts extra damage. Yes, please. Alright guys, so that is part two of this walkthrough complete. Um, stay tuned for more. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have about 110 subs now and the goal is to eventually hit 1000. So it would be really appreciated if you could help me on that journey. And I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.